Well, hello there, boys, and welcome back to the Battle of Frederick. I think we're going to actually change this to the Battle of the Potomac after a suggestion by Maximilian Schoenhausen. I'm pretty sure it was Maximilian. Um, and I think that's a much better name for this particular fight just because the Potomac is such an important river uh, in this conflict. Now, of course, those of you that skipped or missed the last uh, video, you should definitely go and check it out. What we're trying to do is actually to restructure our men and our army over here to face the incoming rebel forces, but I'm not so sure we're going to be able to do that in time. Um, as you can see, they've already got some trench works up. I'd like to potentially engage those trenches too, but we're going to keep things simple right now. Um, and as you can see, we're actually popping our guys back over here to hold uh, sort of a rear guard position. And this is assuming the Confederates don't start charging or moving forward, which I think we've got some time or thought we did. But look at that. We got Lomax's brigade already moving up. In fact, I'm going to move with John Martindale. I'm going to start engaging Lomax's brigade here. I might do the same with Morell's unit. Let's do that. And let's just put a stop to their movement across the river. I don't want to dedicate every single one of my men to it, but we may have to. As you can see, we've got the rest of the army moving into position here. Uh, but it's going to take a little while before they make it to the front lines. In fact, we could take the Dunker Church area. That doesn't seem like such a bad idea. Let's try this. So we're going to try to hit the enemy on the flank. I'm not so sure this is going to go exactly as planned, but let's hope so, folks. Alright, let's see how the position is going over here across the river. Looks like Lomax has gotten across. That's not what I wanted, of course. Um, and it also looks like they managed to get our first group of skirmishers to break and run. I'm going to try not to think too much about it, and I'm actually going to target their artillery exclusively here uh, to see if we can't just shoot it down before it becomes a problem. Burden sharpshooters doing a wonderful job here, firing away. And hopefully our infantry over here from the west can, can do the same thing once they get to this position. In fact, we might try to lure the enemy into Dunker's Church. I think we'll just hold this area and see if the enemy won't attack us head on. The sharpshooters are still doing pretty well, and because these are sharpshooters, um, it looks like their distance, the distance at which they can engage the enemy, is far greater. You can certainly see that here. Our other skirmishers would have to be right where the, the bodies start here next to the tree, but these sharpshooters can really get shots at quite a distance. Let's hope that we've done some damage here to Carter's battalion. It looks like two casualties. That's not nearly enough. Um... But again, every artilleryman that we manage to knock down is going to help us out uh, ultimately in this battle. Alright folks, what we're going to do is we're going to return to the fight once we get some actual action here. It seems that our men are just moving into place for the moment. And it also seems like the Confederates may be getting some additional reinforcements. Things are about to get quite interesting here. And look at that, guys. Our first unit over here to make it to the east is going to be John Martindale's group. And they are firing away here. They've already made contact with Lomax's brigade. Looks like the rebels are sending over additional forces. I mean, that's right. They're keeping this thing going nonstop. But of course, we are restructuring over here, uh, over by the Dunker's Church area. So I think we'll have more than enough time to get into place. But that's why I'm sending units like Lomax over here. Uh, also sending units like Morell over here just to buy us some additional time. In fact, it looks like the enemy's sending uh, their cavalry out us. That's Hamilton's brigade. Let's switch targets over there to the cavalry. Oh my goodness, this might be the first Confederate cavalry charge we've dealt with here. Come on, fire, boys. Fire, damn it. Fire. Now, now, now. They gotta start hitting them immediately. Come on, boys. Cavalry's going to fall back and start setting up for sure. I like to think that we at least got a few shots off on them, but they broke and ran far before we could do much damage, and now they're going to get off their horses and no doubt attack us head on. That is rough. All right. I 
And again, I'm still going to keep a few of the brigades here on this eastern side here, just to hold the enemy while we move the rest of them into position. And that includes Butterfield, unfortunately. It includes Butterfield, and it includes the sharpshooters here uh, under uh, Burden. So let's do that. In fact, I need the sharpshooters to switch targets. There we go, son. And we'll do the same with the artillery here. Now that the enemy's extremely close, try to get some canister shot on them. All right, all right. Not too bad, not too bad. We get used to this. And there we go. Good job. Our boys managed to fight off a rebel charge here by Mori's brigade. Of course, it's only a matter of time. Look at all of the men they're sending over from Porterstown. We are definitely in some trouble, folks. There's no doubt about it. We'll do what we can holding the rebels here, but they are sending a bunch of men over. Seemingly their entire army. Also, it looks like John Martindale may have gained a rank here. I don't believe he had that General Star um, before we got on the field, but I could be mistaken. Either way, his men are holding back six or seven brigades. It's only a matter of time before they break, but you can see the hard work he's doing here. I mean, it is tough to, to dedicate that much to the cause. Got the sharpshooters continuing to fire. Let's hit Smith's brigade. Come on. Come on, boys. Like our cannons are just now reloading. There we go. Beautiful shot on Smith's Brigade and the rest of our army, as you can see, getting set up around the Dunker's Church area. I think we're off to a good start, but who can really say yet? We need to keep on playing through. We need to see how quickly they get their army across and specifically how quickly they field their army or set that army up across from our other one. And I don't think it's going to be before noon. It's 1036 in the a.m., almost certain it's going to take them at least by noon at a minimum to make it over here to the Dunker Church area. Let's just make sure that the rest of our units are moving into position. They are indeed. All of those all of those infantry units crossing that agricultural land right there. Well, the Southerners won't be farming that anytime soon. But what about over here? We got 3rd Brigade under Butterfield. They're going to break out this way and hopefully come in on the enemy's flank as they move forward. But it all depends. Timing is, of course, extremely important in this game, which is why a lot of the orders can be timed. You can, you know, set them for five minutes, six minutes, etc. But I think this unit is going to <clears throat> essentially go go together well uh, with the, the chaotic combat going on over here. Although, as you can see here, Martindale is looking worse for wear, although Maury's brigade has reformed. This is the unit that charged and ran away, and now they're firing into the flank of Martindale's brigade. The situation is pretty hectic here, I'm not going to lie, folks. I am, however, going to change the direction here of 2nd Brigade. And it looks like we can at least break Smiths apart. The cav- or I should say the artillery has devastated the right part of Smith's unit here. You can just see that and consistent pounding from our artillery. I'm hoping that that's going to make a huge difference here against Smith's Brigade. Now, these guys are just now starting to head back to the Dunker Church area. They're starting to get set up. And we're still holding the Confederates here with these units. That's our goal. Let's keep it going. Well, my friends, as if God himself came down to help us, look at what has arrived. It looks like Brigadier General Couch has actually arrived here. Um, and what we're going to do is bring him to the fight. But I'm going to actually try and bring him through the southern part of Sharpsburg. So I kind of want to set up here first. Then we'll decide what to do. And in fact, we have more men than just Couch. It looks like he's not the main commander here. Uh, we've also got Silas Casey, and I'm going to have him come through the woods on Dunker Church. So again, we're sending in quite a lot of reinforcements, and I hope that this is going to make a big difference. I do fear, though, that the casualty count we're going to have for this fight is going to be unreasonably high. Um, just because we've got a whole bunch of guys trapped over here. One, two, three units kind of trapped in this area. And they are going to get chewed up. There's just no way around it. Um, we could fall back with them. Or we're getting such good shots. You can actually see the gray bellies right there. A few of our own Federals in front of them. But with these sharpshooters, I just want to keep on firing. The first U.S. sharpshooters, 190 losses. Only 641 men left. Now, we do have to keep in mind that a good number of them um, are over here in um, detachments. So we have, of course, sent some men away from the main group. Um, and that's going to count for the lower number. <clears throat> Still, 641. Not a lot of men by Civil War standards at all. 
So let's keep on firing, and I do believe the enemy's going to try to charge with Lane's Brigade. Let's make sure that the artillery's got that guy in his sights. And as you can see, I have not moved forward with any of my other units. They're going to remain here until the reinforcements arrive, and we can deal with the rebels head on. Here we go. Wonderful shot so far. Hell, we're even holding the line. Now, 2nd Brigade definitely had an issue, and I think you guys saw that since the beginning. That's got to be a game bug. It's just been stuck in this, like... Pretty much they're all meshed together. Stuff like this that needs to improve if this game needs to have a chance. I love it, but stuff like that is just really annoying. See, we're giving them the order to um, to set up and start firing, but they're not going to do it. And there we go. Rebels are pushing in. Oh, we're going to have some close combat. Although, hopefully we can stop it with consistent artillery and also just consistent fire, period. Come on, boys. They're getting close. But we are firing and keeping them back. I think we're going to break this unit, no issue. We could fall back with 1st Brigade and take um, a better position here, and I think that's what I'm going to do. Let's do a retreat. Better we fall back now than get completely overwhelmed by the Rebels and lose this entire unit, which we're probably going to lose anyway. <clears throat> but they definitely took a chunk out of our boys here, no doubt about it. We lost plenty of Federals there south of the Porterstown Road. All right, let's see how our reinforcements are coming along, guys. Just want to see. It's going to take a while for them to get up here. And, yeah, they've got a long time to go. Um, again, just to get up here into enemy territory. Currently, the battle is actually favoring us, despite the enemy having uh, more locations, like Dunker Church, for instance. In fact, I just want to take this guy. Oh, he's already moving in there. It's just a matter of time, folks. And I don't want to rush our men, because I want to make sure that that fatigue doesn't increase. Unfortunately, our sharpshooters are falling back. And it looks like our infantry is soon following over here. I'm going to try to engage with the infantry. We're still going to try to put up a fight. The last thing I need is for them to reach Charles Griffin's cannons here. So let's just make sure we get some consistent shots. Men are already starting to reload, and there we go. In fact, it looks like Lane's brigade may be about to break right now. Let's see. Sharpshooters are running towards enemy territory. I don't like that. They're probably headed towards Andersonville or some other Confederate prison camp from the looks of it. We're going to restructure this force. Yeah, perfect. Set up in the woods. Our reinforcements can hold the church area, but I need our infantry to move forward and set up in these woods. We've had so many, um, you know, engagements in this particular battle, or in this war, I should say, where having a defensive position in the woods has, has just won us the battle. So I'm going to do that again. Don't stop what's working, right? Keep it up, boys. And it even looks like Lane is broken and on the run. And with 524 casualties, I would be too. Well, they have over 2,000 men, so don't get excited yet, folks. I'm going to keep on firing at that retreating unit. We know how quickly the enemy is to uh, restructure their forces, so we might as well do it. All right, I'm starting to really like this setup. Let's hope that this is sufficient to carry the day. But I do believe we're doing a better job at controlling the enemy. In fact, <clears throat> I'm even going to fast forward here a bit uh, just to get these guys into position. And once we do that, um, we'll go ahead and get back to the fight once the enemy starts engaging us again. But see, look at that. Almost an hour has passed by, and we had more than enough time to get into our position. So we're going to wait for the enemy to push... Now, I know they're pushing across the river here, but it looks like they're restructuring their forces on the other side of the river, maybe even trying to, like, lure us into an attack. And we're not going to be crazy enough to do that. I mean, they have abandoned the trench, more or less, but we are not going to cross the river just to take the fight to the rebels. That's just not going to happen. Let's keep on bombarding them here with the artillery. It looks like we're doing the same over here. And hopefully, we can just damage them so much from a distance that they decide to give up the fight right now, 
or at least we convince them to charge. They're going to have to charge these guns eventually, or just we'll just shoot them like Swiss cheese. All right, folks, well, I hope you're enjoying the fight so far. If you like this series, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I am trying to do more episodes of this regularly, but the views were there initially, and now they're kind of not, um, which is unfortunate. So, again, if you can like, comment, and subscribe, I would appreciate it. Let's try to get the views back up, and I'll make these uh, uploads more regular. Thank you again, take care, and have a wonderful day.